Hi everyone, I'm Hector. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the third video of the Design Your LA River Workshop, brought to you by the Elysian Valley Arts Collective. If you haven't seen the last video in our series, please click the link here. In each video, we will be covering the basic design tools and resources you'll need to successfully submit to the Lewis McAdams 18-year-old and younger prize. In the first workshop, we covered what it meant to hear and gather. In the second workshop, we worked on how to develop a concept from what you heard and gathered. This week, our objective is to create and challenge your concept. This week's workshop will cover the following. Review challenge two, placing your art destination, challenging your concept, and lastly, challenge number three. Let's review challenge two from last week. We looked at developing your thoughts and reactions into initial concepts. We developed them by using a simple matrix to make sense of our feelings and reactions to the things we saw on the river. A concept grounds your project and is the identity of your idea. Then, taking one of those concepts, we went through a charrette exercise. The charrette helped us brainstorm ideas of what our concept could start to look like. Brainstorming allows us to think openly and freely about all possibilities. As you worked through challenge two, you probably found that your ideas were very rough and probably a bit funky, and that's perfectly okay. You probably also brainstormed hundreds of ideas of what your public art destination could look like. Before we dive into challenging our concept, we'll pick a site for our public art destination if we haven't done so already. The Lewis McAdams Prize allows us to select a site for our public art destination anywhere along the 51 mile length of the river. To help guide your decision, ask yourself, where do I want this public art destination to be? In one area? In multiple areas along the river? Along the entire river? Let's do two things together now. Open a Google map of the LA River and select an area you want your design to live. Now, draw over the map to place your public art destination in, at, or near the river. It can just be a simple shading over the area, lines or shapes, or what it might actually look like from above. I'm personally drawn to a small area near Fletcher Avenue. I live by here and I see a lot of people and birds in the area. I've shown in an overhead view the outline of my site and small lines diagramming where I think my perches want to be. Try to find a photo of the part of the river or another part similar to it. Draw what your public art destination would look like in perspective or in 3D. These perspectives can be very rough but the idea being you want to bring scale um, and location to your sketch. So it could just be simple lines. Having a location for your art destination will help you begin to challenge your concept. Now, let's actually challenge our concept. From challenge one, we asked ourselves three questions to understand more about our perception or view of the LA River. Now we will ask these three questions about our concept. During our charrette, we uncovered new perspectives about our concept and produced a lot of possible forms. We'll use these questions to help us select a single idea that we will then present and submit to the competition. Let's take a look at my favorite concept, the bird perches. In these questions, you can examine anything and everything about your design, its appearance, its shape, its color, materials, and location. This will help you get specific about the final decisions in your design. What do I like about my concept? I like that the perches offer a unique space for both wild birds and people. What don't I like about my concept? I don't like that each perch is far from each other. Making clustering, maybe clustering them would resemble the rocks along the river. What is something about my concept I'm still unsure about? I'm unsure on how to get people to these perches. Maybe a zipline? Asking and re-asking myself these questions, I decided that my project will be a series of medium and tall perches clustered together throughout an area of the river. They will be connected together in some way, maybe a series of small bridges. Remember that design is an iterative process. If you get stuck, go back a step or two. Once you have a clearer idea of what your public art destination looks like, it'll be time for challenge three. Now that you have a direction for your public art destination, and in preparation for the next class, I want you to write a short one to two sentence narrative about your project. 
As designers and artists, we often have to present our ideas and projects to other people. Whether it's friends or family, or a total stranger admiring your art piece, you'll oftentimes find yourself explaining every detail and decision you made while creating the art piece. Although explaining your thoughts to someone in person can be a bit easier, conveying your thoughts and emotions to someone in writing is a whole different animal. In writing these one to two sentences, think back to when the idea first popped in your head and how you challenged your concept earlier. How did your concept grow and change? What did you learn about your concept? Use this to create a base for your narrative. For example, my narrative for the bird perches installation is, after seeing how the birds basked in the sun in the middle of a tremendous river, I drew a parallel to how we walk along the river to relax and enjoy nature as bikers, joggers, and dog walkers busy up the path, like the turbulent river. I therefore created an art installation that allows visitors and birds alike to take a rest among the river in a unique way. That's it for this video, everyone. I'll see you all in the next and final video in our series. Thanks again to the Legion Valley Arts Collective for sponsoring the series. Until next time, and stay safe everyone.